Hello guys, Robbie here, and today I want to show you guys how to stack stats in Nightingale. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. And so come across the fact that a lot of players in Nightingale know how to do this. But stat stacking allows you to be able to vastly improve the stats on items. I can do that by using specific materials and specific things. And so for this example here, I'll be using this ingot here, my um, pelucidic um, etched ingot. You can see right now it has 30% melee damage, 10% critical damage, 30% strength, and 20% durability. And so what we're doing here is that we're going to stack the stats, wherein the stats are a lot higher than this. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So what I'm doing here is just an example. You can apply this to just about almost any materials in the game that you use to make stuff. Okay? And so for this example here, we're going to make use of um, a blacksmith hurt and also our brazier. So just make sure you have wood in the hurt before we use it. So the first thing we are going to do here is that we are going to craft um, action. Right here, we use this. we're going to fill it. Let's make 10 of this. So we're going to go ahead and craft. And while that is going, we are going to go over here. And we are going to make mechanical gear right here using the exact same velocidic because we're trying to stack all this here. So for this here, we are going to make 10 altar. And while it's crafting, we are just going to wait. Now, what happens here is that once we make those two things, we are then going to combine it into what we call into refined action, which is this one here. So we are going to go down to refined action right here. I'm going to grab the mechanical gears in it. Okay. Just waiting for it to see. And just there we go. And done. So now we are going to go over here. We are going to go ahead and make it. And remember, we are making refined action, which is this one right here. So we're going to go here. Here. We're going to make 10 of it. Craft. Now, once this is done, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go back and reclaim the guts itself. Now, before you start this process, if you have ores, I want to get more ingots out of the ores uh, when you smelted them. You want to go ahead and play a realm card, okay? And so the realm card I'm currently playing is my uh, is the industry card. It's a minor realm card, and what the industry card does is that it gives you two times crafting ingots. So normally when you're crafting ingots from ore, it's a two to one ratio. That's two ore, um, two ore to one ingots. But if you play that card because you're getting two ingots, it becomes a one to one ratio there. Okay. So the reason why you're doing this is that way you're not using too many ore resources while you're making ingots. So now once this is done, um, at five, I'm just gonna wait for you to finish and we'll grab it. And so that's essentially what we're going to do. So once this is done, we are going to go back into the herd and do the last process. And once we're done, we are going to compare the stats of the final ingots we're going to get compared to the starter ingots. Remember, the starter ingots was this one here. Um, Pelucidic etched ingots, which has 30, 10, 30, 20. In terms of melee, critical, strength, and durable stats. And we are almost done here. Just finish. And while I'm doing that, I'll just go ahead and uh, short rest here to expand um, to get my. Uh... Okay, there we go. That's done. So we're gonna grab it. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back in here, and we are gonna reclaim the refined action we just. Made. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to reclaim ingots. Select the refined material, we're going to select the refined action, the palisadic one that we made, we're everything, craft it. So we're just going to wait for it to finish. 
and while waiting, um, this is currently my base right now. Forgive the mess and the meat there. It's just that it takes a while to make a bunch of uh, um, carved stone. Gonna apply that. We're almost done. Um, I love this design up here. Okay, let's go back here. Now, almost there. Almost. There. Actually, we can just grab what it's done so far. So go ahead and grab it, and we are going to go ahead and compare it. Now, remember, we started with this one here. That's the 30, 10, 30, 20. Now, if you look out the results after what we just did, we have this. We have 60, 20, 60, 40. You notice it's twice the amount. See that? Twice that. We just stacked the stats on this ingots here. And so that's the entire process itself. Um, and you can do so once you're done, you can do the exact same process again. Sorry, back here. Um, so once that's done, you just go back, do the exact same thing that we did with it with this ingot. We'll do it with this one, and what we do with this one, we'll go ahead and stack it again. And it's gonna double. Let me show you real quick. We're gonna do that, and so we'll go over it again, make some action. It's two ingots. Using the um, one that we just finished with. Let's do two here. And here, we're going to make the mechanical. Two on that one also. Grab this one here. And then we'll now go back and we are going to go ahead and make in action. Oh, let me grab it from here. Oh, there we go. So we'll go back here, make the refine action. Okay. Gonna go. Because we want to do a reclaimed ingot, it needs to, so that's what make 12 there. So 12 that. That we are, and you guys will see exactly what's come out of this. So, essentially, what you're doing here is that once you've done the first stack, of the first set of um, ingots, and you stacked it, go back in with the second set, do the exact same thing again, stack it, and just keep going on to you, and you just keep stacking the stats over and over again until you get to the results that you want so this is almost done and then once it's done we are going to go ahead and reclaim it and then we'll compare it now remember this is what we started with this is where we are right now we're gonna get to gonna go higher than this is what we're doing right now so we're gonna go ahead and claim it and then now we are going to go ahead and refine it uh, reclaim it sorry so go back and the one we're looking at is we're looking at this. Remember, we made the refine action, and when we reclaim it, it's going to be a lot higher. You can already see um, see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and reclaim it, and the inga we're going to get is going to be four times what we started with in terms of stats on there, and that's how we stat stack in Nightingale. Like I said, I had to make this video because I realized that a lot of um, players don't know about this and um, endgame it makes content a lot easier do. and so let me go ahead and pull it up now sorry and so now I'm playing with a mixture of controller and mouse so remember we started with this 30 10 30 20 melee critical strength and durability the this was the second what well, that we got to we can see it was double the first one 60 20 60 uh, 40 and this is the third one that we're at right now, which is 120, 40, 120, 80. And that's how you stack stats in a Nightingale. Now imagine making an item with this 120% melee damage. And it can go even higher than this. So I just wanted to show you guys, and this is exactly how we stat stack in Nightingale. And so, and with that, let me go ahead and turn this off so I don't know it's on my core, on uh, my um, lumber. And so that's it, guys. That is at the end of this guide here. Guys, to stats stacking. Nightingale.
And with that, guys, Ruby out. Take care.